3631 Tactical. Today, I'm gonna to teach you something real simple, and that's how to shoot fast. Now, this video isn't for any of you high-speed, masterclass, super-duper competitive shooters. There's plenty of you out there that can beat me hands down, shoot way faster, way more accurate. This video is more so for people that are CPL holders that don't have that much training, or people that are even law enforcement officers, because people, you'd be surprised at how little uh, law enforcement officers get as far as firearms training. So people that are carrying a gun for self-defense or maybe people that are carrying a gun for a living, I want to show you how to get a lot faster than what you are. All right, so got. what we're going to be shooting at today is just a steel steel target. That's all it is. Steel. When I hit it, you'll hear it go ping. I painted it with fresh white paint so you'll see where the hits are. And this is something about the size of a torso. So all I'm looking at is getting, I guess, combat effective hits or the type of accuracy you would need for self-defense. I'm not worried about hitting a small quarter at 50 yards. I don't care. This is all about uh, self-defense. All right, so I got my timer. Let's shoot some shots, see how fast we can shoot, and then I'll give you an explanation. Time on that was 104. 1 1.04. So just a just a smidge over one second. A little slower, 111, but again, just a smidge over one second. That time was a 108, 108. So pretty clearly we can do this in right about a second, just a little bit over a second as far as time. All right, so here's the trick to this. Some people think you have to practice for years and years and years to be some you know, high-speed shooter, shoot fast and accurate and all that stuff. Some people maybe think you have to have a gift, you have to be born with special talent, or you have to um, uh, be some super athletic person. And I'm none of those things. I don't think I'm any of those things. But I can still do this with decent speed. And it's not so much about your athletic ability or how fast you can move your hands. It's more about the efficiency and how you draw the gun and present it to the target. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do it again, but I'm gonna go a little slower and let's see what my time is. All right, that was 143, 143. So let's go a little slower, slower yet. That was 164, 164. So we're still under two seconds. Let's go even slower yet. That was 207, 207. So just a smidge over two seconds. Let's go even slower yet. Messed up, we went actually faster. That was 179. One more time, really slow. Still 181, still under two seconds. I hope you can see from the video the difference in the first one, the first shots that I took. and how slow those second shots were. And shots were. But what was the difference in time? It wasn't much. Less than a second on a lot of those. At the most, one second difference in time from the fast version to the slow version. So here's the trick to it. Again, you don't have to have super fast hands or practice for years and years. You just have to be efficient in the way you draw the gun and present it to the target. So first things, we got to get a good grip on the gun in the holster. Before the gun ever comes out of the holster, we want a good grip. Because if you come out and you have a bad grip and you're trying to adjust the, the grip as you're presenting it to the target, that's going to slow you down. So the first thing, get a really good grip before the gun ever comes out of the holster. When the gun does come out of the holster, your support side hand should already be here, waiting to, to, to get a two-handed grip. It should be waiting for the gun. I'm going to get my two-handed grip here, and I'm going to press the gun straight out towards the bad guy. Just straight out. 
straight out. So when I drew the gun, I got my grip here. I brought the gun up high. My sights are already almost aligned with the bad guy right now. I just press it out a little further, clean up the sight picture, and then I can press the trigger. The whole point of this is because of the way I'm gripping the gun, the way I'm drawing the gun, the way I'm presenting it to bad guy, when I get here, I'm ready. When I get here, boom, I'm shooting. If you don't do all of those things, by the time you get here, you're adjusting your grip, you're trying to find your sights, you're trying to line your sights up, now you're putting your finger on the trigger, now you're squeezing the trigger, and that takes forever. People they see that have a lot of really herky-jerky movements and they're trying to go fast, but they don't quite have the technique, are a lot slower than somebody that would just do it nice and slow and smooth with uh, really efficient This movements. is a good example of what not to do. This is what I mean by herky-jerky movements, or if you're fishing or bowling, uh, getting a bad grip, um, getting your grip way out here, instead of close to your body. This is what I'm talking about. That was 376, 376. I know that's kind of an extreme example, but that's what I see. I see people gripping the gun the wrong way, not getting a grip from the holster, coming out fishing or bowling or slapping their grip on way out here. Um, that's what causes you to be really slow. It's the efficiency of the way you draw and present the gun. It's not how fast your hands are actually moving. So work on being efficient. Work on learning how to grip the gun the right way, learning how to draw it the right way, present it to the target right the, way, the right way. Those are the things that'll make you fast. Not by having a bunch of herky-jerky fast movements. Well, that's what's actually gonna slow you down. So if you get your efficiency really smooth and really efficient, then you can work on moving your hands fast and see how fast you can get. Uh, I'm not the fastest, but I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll do a couple reps here. And I'll see if I can get the, my draw in one shot into uh, less than a second. Point nine six, point nine six. Let's do it again. Three, just missed it. Got to finish on a good note. One more time. Point nine nine. Point nine nine. Two out of three ain't bad. So this is the part of the video where I tell you to go to thirty six thirty one tactical tactical.com and check us out for CPL classes. One thing that we do that some people probably don't know that we do. We teach law enforcement as well. So if you're interested in, in your department or your agency getting some, um, some good high quality firearms training, contact us, 3631tactical.com. Check us out. We've been law enforcement professionals, most of us for a long time. Some of us are national shooting champions. We can really upgrade your department's training program. Thanks for watching.